Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. I'm coming at you with another unboxing video today. Uh, we are doing a order from Bomb Diggy Bath. I was so excited for this order and I have been a minute on filming this unboxing. This box has been sitting for like two weeks because I really wanted to film it and really wanted to make a cool um, little video uh, to celebrate my first Bomb Diggy order. Hooray! Um, so yeah, Bomb Diggy is based in the United States. It's owned by a lovely lady named Jamie. And let me tell you, there's a bunch of stuff in here and I barely remember what I ordered. So let's get into it. And let's just jump into it. So amazing. Get diggy with it. Um, oh. I'm like unwrapping and it just comes off. Like, am I okay? I'm not sure. Oh, yay! Okay, so I've seen when other people order from her that they get these sick little bracelets and goodies. So, yeah. Oh my god. This is one of those snap bracelets. You like go straight and then looking good. Okay, so this is our look. For the rest of the video oh my gosh i don't know if you guys had these in like elementary school but the kids used to like do all kinds of different things with them like that so yeah we're gonna be fashionable for this unboxing it's not a big deal it's fashion brenda look it up um yeah let's jump into it let's talk about it because i'm sure this is gonna be quite a long video let's just jump into it so very first product in our box is this gorgeous, huge bath bomb called Dance Magic Dance Bath Bomb. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous gold shimmery color. Um, let's see if we can smell her through the package. Oh girl, we can. Mmm, I get a lilac scent right away. It has um, a very, it's like freshly washed sheets kind of a smell. Um, it's a little bit oaky too. I think there may be oak moss in here. Like lilac oak moss. Very earthy, grounding. Yes, yes. 10 out of 10. I'm sure it'll be beautiful in the bath. Um, yeah. So that again is Dance Magic Dance Bath Bomb from Balm Diggy Bath. Okay. Okay. So next up. Okay. Okay. This is called Off the Chain Bubbler. So this is a bubble bar. You can chop it up or you can hold it under running water and it'll make bubbles and it'll obviously glitter up your bath a beautiful gold color. Um, Mm. This is another one. I can smell it right through the package. That's how you know that like the scent is really, really like strong slash like just powerful. 90% of the time I have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. But I can smell it right through the wrapper. It smells like oranges, like orange lemon, um, very bright citrusy scent. Love it. Can't wait to chop it. That's gorgeous. Moving along. Oh sweet, a sample. Here's a sample of Freedom Bath Bomb. Some dust. Awesome, who doesn't love a sample? Um, I think Freedom is one of the ones that was out of stock when I placed this order, so it's really nice for her to throw in a sample so I still get to try. Um, let's have a sniff. Mm. That has kind of an earthy, fresh scent. Really nice. I like the variety in her scent list. If you go on her website, you can check out all the different scents she has. She has a big variety. So it's not all citrus. It's not all like bakery. It's, it's a very big blend of like lots of different things. Next thing. Holy. 
Okay, so this is huge compared to what I was expecting. <gasps> Do you see that? Oh my god. So I think I've heard this described as a magical elixir. This is called 16, uh, 16th sorry, and Collins Lux Body Oil. Um, so this can be used, you can drop a few drops in your bath and make it more hydrating or you can put a little bit on your skin. You can use it as tanning oil. Um, I, you can probably even put a tiny bit in your hair um, to like defrizz. What does it say on here? Oh, it's just ingredients. Um, but yeah, I think you can use this for a bunch of different, um, things. Uh, let's open it up. Let's have a sniff. I want to be very careful because I know that's going to be quite oily. So you pick it up in your little eyedropper. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Okay. I'm going to have a little sniff. Put some on my hand. Rub, rub, rub. Oh, that smells like, mm, it smells like expensive tanning oil, if that makes sense. It smells like, it smells a little bit beachy, kind of a salty ocean musk scent. But there's also a bit of a lime oil vibe to it as well. Mm, it's very beachy, if that makes sense. It's very fresh tropical a little bit but it, like to me this smells like high-end like designer tanning oil not like Hawaiian tropics but like good tanning oil like the one that costs like 50 bucks if that makes sense um and I don't think this was 50 bucks I'm pretty sure it was like 15 or 20 so yeah it's huge too on the website I was picturing it to be like little and like this is enormous like seeing it in person as, as opposed to in pictures like Great size, great size. Like here's my little kitchen knife compared. Yeah, beautiful. It's four ounces for anyone who is wondering. So yeah, 16th and Collins body oil. Beautiful. Um, let's move along. This order is great already and we're not even like two minutes in. Next up, oh. Oh, the detailing on this. Very nice. It's like a mermaid tail. I love that. Um, this is called a Splash Bubble Bar. Or sorry, she calls them bubblers. Let me make sure that I call it the right thing. This is a Splash Bubbler. Um, again, I'm going to be chopping it up soon. Um, mm. This one's sealed pretty good. I'm not sure if I'm smelling it correctly. I'm going to cut a little hole on the side here. There we go. Oh yeah. Mmm. That has like a cucumbery scent. To me it's a cucumber lemon. Like you, if you guys have ever tried those face masks um, and you put them on your skin and then you peel them off. It has a very similar scent to that. It's like a fresh cucumber bergamot kind of a scent. It's really nice. Um, very, very mermaid vibes if that makes sense to you. Like... I like it. It's good. I'd definitely fresh cucumbery, bergamot, bright ocean scent. All right. Next up. Holy shit! Watch your profanity. This is big. A large. I was confused there for a second, but she taped it up for me to make sure it didn't leak. Thank you, Jamie. So we have a Bomb Diggy Eat a Peach Luxe Body Scrub. Mm. Holy shit, that smells so good! Oh, oh my god! This is like, I get like, it's like peach marshmallow. I, don't, I can't remember what it's supposed to be, but it smells like peach marshmallow to me. Ooh, the texture. Mm-hmm. Good texture. I'll pop in a demo, a sink side demo, so you guys can see.
yeah it's just gorgeous just gorgeous the scent is beautiful and yeah good job on your scrubs jamie these are flawless okay Oh, sick grape airhead candy bro we're eating that right now mmm really good so this tastes good just so you know um next up we have a superstar no yeah superstar bubbler superstar um gorgeous silver star with tons of shimmer on it and it is sealed so let's cut a little hole inside there oh no i cut a, i cut a little deep but that's okay Ooh, that has a really nice it's like a mimosa like fizzy orange a little bit maybe fizzy i don't think it's orange no it's grapefruit like fizzy grapefruit like carbonated uh grapefruit um what are those you know those like fizzy grapefruit drinks i'll pop them up on the screen i think it's an alcoholic drink oh woody's this smells like woody's um has a really nice scent uh, i wow it's very uh, fizzy and light, um, refreshing. Really like that. So yeah, that's another bubble bar. The third bubble bar. Oh, sorry. I keep saying bubble bar, and I want to call the products by their correct name. At Bomb Diggy, they are called bubblers. So sorry that I keep misspeaking. Um, but yeah, superstar bubbler. Moving right along. Oh, cute magnet. Awesome. Next up, we have another bath bomb. Nice. Oh, this one's a little bit. She's uh, she's a little open. Oh my shit. Mother trucker, dude. That smells so good. This is called So Fresh and So Green Bath Bomb. Um, it smells. It smells like a fresh garden. It it's so nice. It's um, it kind of gives me a very similar vibe to Grass Bubble Bar from Lush. If you've ever tried that, um, very fresh, very bright, um, earthy, kind of like fresh cut grass. But there's a little bit of a floral note in there too. I'm not sure if it's gardenia or violet, but there's definitely floral in here, like undertone. Um, it's kind of that bright grassy scent and in the background it's like garden floral um it's beautiful 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 scent and i have seen some in the tub demos of this and it is just breathtakingly gorgeous so i can't wait to show you guys what kind of bath art this makes it's going to be out of this world i love the size of this too like holy shit. <laughs> gently put that down and we're going to move right along to the next thing um yay for another huge beautiful bath bomb this one is called silly rabbit bath bomb and mm, this has a fruit loop scent um it's kind of like mm, it's like a tropical sour fruit loops type of a vibe um it also it reminds me of like candy too it has like fruit loops meets candy um very nice very sweet very like good it, it's like good vibes but in a scent i love it so much and like i don't know if you guys can get a full idea of this on camera but these are enormous like they're big solid sides um yeah i can't wait to demo these these are just out of this world like so much hard work goes into these i bet and it's paying off jamie because they're gorgeous so that's three so far three bombs so far three bubble bars so far um let's see what else we got 
Okay, nice. Another bath bomb. This one is called Slumber Party Bath Bomb. Um, so I think this is going to be a vanilla type of a vibe. Or, what am I saying vanilla? I meant to say lavender type of a vibe. Um, let's see if I can sniff it through the package. Wow. You really can smell that right through the seal. It smells so good. So good. It, um, it's a very unique lavender scent. Like, I find it, um that when you get lavender scents that they tend to be either soft lavender or manly lavender and that's about the only options. Um, but this is very complex. This is like floral earthy lavender. It smells really good. Um, there's definitely vanilla tonka in here but there's also like a floral undertone mixed with that lavender scent. Um, could be ylang ylang, could be gardenia. I have trouble differentiating different floral scents, so I tend to just say floral because I'm not sure. But there's definitely some undertones of like earthiness mixed in with the sweet lavender scent that we all know and love. Um, very unique. Awesome. And I'm sure it'll make gorgeous bath art because that pigment is next level and those little tiny stars. Like, can you even? Because I can't even. Alright. Next thing. Yes! Oh my god! I love Fun Dip! Thank you! I fucking love Fun Dip. Thanks. Yes! Ooh! Yes! I love candy so much. How did she know? Okay, next we have Roland's Rose Bubble Bar, Bubbler, sorry. Um, mm, this one's sealed pretty good. I can't smell this one through the seal. Wild and out being fucking dangerous, but I'm gonna smell this little piece. Oh, wow. That's very similar to like Rose Jam from Lush. Um, ooh, it smells good, but I think it has a bit of a uh, Tonka vibe to it as well. Mm. It's very similar to Rose Jam. Um, you get that like lemon rose vanilla scent from it, but I think that there's something softening it up, something making it a little more uh, sweet because I find um, the Rose Jam scent at Lush, you can definitely smell that lemon undertone that's in there. Um, but with this one, it has more of a soft, like soothing undertone, if that makes sense. I know soothing isn't really like a scent word, but it kind of has a lot more of a soft scent um, where it has like vanilla, um, kind of a frothy type of a vibe as well as like rose and lemon. Um, 90% of the time, I have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling. It smells very similar to Rose Jam from Lush. It's like a soft floral. Uh, very nice. So again, Roland's Rose Bubbler. I'm not. Okay, y'all. Yas. Mmm. Oh my god, it smells so good. It smells so good. So this is Girls Just Wanna Have Fun bath bomb it smells amazing it's like to me it's like very marshmallow it's like marshmallow pie but also like it has like a to me a bit of a coconut vibe um marshmallow coconut sweet very foody type of a scent like i want to lick it it smells like candy it smells like dessert it smells so good Mm, there might be a bit of a bubblegum scent in there. I'm not sure. Very fruity, maybe like raspberry, blueberry, marshmallow. Um, but yeah, it's beautiful. It smells really good. And it's shaped like a little cassette tape. I don't know if some of you younger people watching would know what a cassette tape is. Hopefully you do. But this is how they used to listen to music. I used to have a cassette player when I was a kid. Yeah. Okay. 
Great haul so far. Next thing. Beautiful. Okay, so this is Pretty Piece of Flesh Bath Bomb, which I have seen demoed on Instagram before, and I just, like, had to freaking have it because it's gorgeous. Mmm. And you can smell it right through this bottle. It smells, oh, God, it smells like pomegranates. It's like fresh pomegranate juice. Like, um, you know that pom-pom juice? It smells like that. It smells so good. Oh, my God. Very fruity, very berry. Um, I think there may be, like, blueberry in there, too. Maybe blackberry or something. Um, but it's like dark berries. It's like, oh, it's really nice. Um, and I'm sure it'll make some beautiful water. Like, look at the glitter on the top. I hope you guys can really see, like, the little stars and, like, all the glitter. Like, beautiful bomb. Beautiful, beautiful thing. So, yeah. There's that. And let's keep on moving. Yes! Okay, so this is an Eat a Peach bath bomb. So this is going to be the same scent as the body scrub that I showed you guys earlier. Um, to me, peach marshmallow. You can smell this right through the scent. There's actually a ripped part right here, so you can smell it right through the, the seal. Um, it's really nice. Um, peach and marshmallow. Love it. It's going to be gorgeous. Good stuff. Okay, I believe this is called, I think this is Da Bomb? Yeah, Da Bomb Bath Bomb. Mm. She's ripped open a little bit so I can smell that. It has a beautiful frankincense. Mm, I love frankincense, it smells so good. And you can definitely smell that. It also is woody and kind of, um, quote unquote manly uh, with the sandalwood that's in there this smells out of this world incredible like holy I love more um, woody earthy masculine like I put that in quotes because it, I say masculine but like scents are for everyone there's no such thing as like a man scent and a girl scent but like I love 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 this scent frankincense is one of my favorite essential oils and I love it um this is incredible so good uh yeah again da bomb bath bomb okay I think that is it for today folks yep that's it that's all so I'm going to just take you for a little walk back through the order and we can just recap what we got here. So there's a lovely little magnet, business card, um, we have Eat a Peach Bath Bomb, we have a uh, Slumber Party Bath Bomb, we have Pretty Piece of Flesh Bath Bomb, so those are three circular shaped bath bombs, and then I have this cassette tape, Girls Just Want to Have Fun bath bomb and then the bomb shaped bath bombs which I freaking love so we have dance magic dance we have dub bomb we have so fresh and so green and we have a silly rabbit bath bomb in the bomb shape and then for bubblers we have superstar bubbler we have splash bubbler we have Roland's Rose bubbler and we have off the chain bubbler and then we have a lovely eat a peach Lux body scrub and we have a 16th and Collins Lux body oil and then we have some lovely throwback goodies some hand socks some little silly bands and a pin and then last but not least, I also got a sample of Freedom Bath Bomb, which is something that Jamie went out of her way to give me, I think, because she asked me on Instagram in DMs what I was unable to get during this restock, and I did say Freedom Bath Bomb, and she did throw that in, so she's a great listener. Um, we also got some Fun Dip, we also got an Airhead that I had a bite out of while I was making this, and we also had a Sour Patch Kid that I ate. 
Um, so yeah, if you made it all the way through this video, I appreciate you. You are a rock star. Thank you for watching. I really hope you ordered from Bomb Diggy. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you guys for supporting me. Hope you have a fantastic day. Hit subscribe if you haven't already and keep on smiling. From the Manatee County Fair, Linda Carson, ABC7. Would you not eat my pants? Ah! Bye!